Hey guys, I am racing the clock here. I'm going to do the best I can. I was so excited this morning when I got up and saw that uh, Shannon had uploaded a get to know me tag. I thought it was a fantastic idea and her questions were great. So of course I'm going to follow in suit and do it too. Um, I hope you guys will take the opportunity to um, either leave your answers down in the comment section of one of our videos or make your own video and let us know that you made a video so we can come watch. Because I too got on YouTube so that I can meet new people um, and so far it's been great. I've had great experiences with everyone. I haven't experienced anything negative so far um, and I really really appreciate that. So anyway we're all bonding and I love it. I think it's great. So the first question is where do you live? I live in Birmingham, Alabama. I've lived here most of my life. I did live in New Mexico for um, about five, almost six years, and um, but I've been back in Birmingham for about ten years. Do you have any pets, and what is what are their names? We have one dog. Um, his name is Rocky. He's got a pointy little head, and he's cute. Um, but I will add a picture at the end of the video so that you can see what he looks like. Favorite movie, TV show, and celebrity crush, y'all. My celebrity crush has been Lenny Kravitz for about twenty years now. He's so fine. I don't even care. Half these answers are going to be Lenny Kravitz. Anyway, um, favorite movie? My movies are kind of stupid that I like. I'm not a movie person. I do not like... I fell asleep during Fast and the Furious 7. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I do not like going to the movie theater. And he drug me to the movie theater. It was like midnight. And I fell asleep. I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Or normally to go work out. And so I fell asleep during that movie. Anyway, um, but my movies are Bridget Jones. I don't like the second and the third one. But I love the first one probably seen it 500 times and then um legends of the fall i like that movie there's a lot of good movies i'm just not a movie person so um, but those are two that i actually not only have seen once but i've seen multiple times so favorite tv show dexter hands down dexter if you've not seen it start with season one don't let anyone tell you anything about it just start with season one and watch it it's amazing you guys i love that show I've got them all on DVD. I love Orange is the New Black. Canceled my Netflix. I'm going to have to get it back because that one's back out. Um, what is that show that starts with a T we've been watching? Or no, Vikings. That's it. We've been watching Vikings. I like that show too. Uh, Sons of Anarchy. Loved that show. We've got that one all on DVD too. So anyway, um, my favorite celebrity crush though, Lenny Kravitz. Definitely. Favorite band, favorite song, and favorite singer. Well, you know what my favorite singer is. Uh, my favorite band is Led Zeppelin. I've been a Led Zeppelin fan since I was probably 14 years old. My favorite song is No Quarter. Lay down, baby. I'm out here with the dog. Uh, my favorite song is No Quarter. And um, I love like Flo Rida, Juvenile, um, Justin Timberlake. Yes, I like Britney Spears. I like Pink. She writes her own music. I think that's awesome. I used to love Gwen Stefani. Uh, I'm not such a fan anymore. Um, I don't know. I like a lot of different kinds of music. So, Let's see. Favorite book, magazine, and author. I used to be a big James Patterson fan. Um, go lay down. Go lay down. Come on. I can't concentrate. I used to be a big James Patterson fan, um, but once I went back to school, I had a lot of required reading I had to do, so that kept me from reading books for pleasure, and I never picked it back up after um, I graduated. One book that I did like, um, that I had to read for school, was a book called Night. And um, it's by Eli Weiss is how I remembered it, but it has an L on the end. But it's W-I-E-S-E-L. It's a book about the Holocaust. It's a true story. He was 12 years old um, at the time. You're going to knock my camera over, baby. Lay down. Um, he was 12 years old at the time. Come right here. And... Um, Anyway, he actually watched his, his mom and his sisters, you know, like, get into the line to go to the gas chamber and all that kind of stuff. It's a really touching story. It's a true story. He came to Birmingham to speak. He was, like, 90 years old or something like that when he came, or in his 80s. Anyway, and I was, like, 10 minutes uh, too late from getting in. The auditorium filled up too fast. I'm literally holding my dog's tail. Stop, baby. Can you please just lay down? Um... And so I couldn't get in to go see him. I was real disappointed. But I read this book like three or four times voluntarily um, after my teacher assigned it. And I would literally, I couldn't put it down. Like I start reading it and I would be at the stoplights reading it. I would be on the treadmill at the gym just crying my eyes out reading it. Like it's a powerful book. So um, if you like true stories, 
it is definitely one to read. Let's see. Favorite magazine. Um, I used to read a lot of magazines, but I don't read many anymore. I like logic problems, and I've just started playing that so Sudoku or however you say it. So I do have those magazines, but as far as really like magazine magazines, we have like health and fitness, men's health, um, those kind of magazines, uh, Southern Living, a few of those, but I really just don't, I like magazines, but I don't subscribe anymore to many. Um, I'll pick some up every once in a while in the grocery store, and it just depends on whatever's on the cover. Um, let's see. That'll determine what I buy. What is your favorite place to travel to, and where would you like to travel to? My favorite place I've ever been is called White Sands. It's in New Mexico. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, we actually went out there before the park opened, so we were able to see um, a side of the park that you can only see one time a day. Like, when the sun comes up, you can see the ripples in the sand, but you can't see those ripples unless you're there at sunrise. And the park doesn't open up until after sunrise. So we did get to go and experience something. And, and the people at the, um, when I went back, told me that my pictures were prettier than their postcards. Like they literally, my pictures were so beautiful because we were there at sunrise. So it was pretty cool. I'll try to add some of those pictures too, if I remember. Um, where would I like to travel to? I am a history buff. I took Western Civilization twice in college just because I loved it, okay? Um, anyways, um, I love history, so I would love to go to the ruins down in South America. I would love to go to Paris. I would love to go to Italy. Um, there's a lot of places I want to go, but I love history. So, like, things, weird things like the catacombs. I'd love to go to the catacombs, as weird as that sounds, but uh, those are some of the places I'd like to go. What is my favorite food, meal, restaurant, and guilty pleasure? Chocolate's my favorite guilty uh, guilty pleasure. My favorite restaurant. Um, I can't really say I have a favorite restaurant. I like Bonefish. Um, on Wednesday night, they have Bang Bang Shrimp for $9.99, so it's a good deal. Um, let's see how many times I say um in this video. Now I'm trying not to. That's really hard when you're trying not to say a word. Let's see, uh, blah, 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 blah. my favorite food though, I like Chinese food and it's weird because growing up I would throw up if anybody even made me smell it. So I like Chinese food, I like Italian food, favorite restaurant, like I said, maybe Bonefish or we went to um, uh, Carrabba's last Friday night, that was really good. Um, that would definitely be in a, in a favorite category. What is your favorite beverage or alcohol? I can't drink alcohol anymore, you guys. It's really sad. I don't know if my body doesn't metabolize it, but I break out in hives whenever I drink now. I can't even drink wine. Like, a glass of wine makes me sick. I'll be sick all day the next day. Uh, it just, it breaks me out in hives. The only thing I can drink that doesn't make me sick is Jägermeister. And I love Jägermeister, so that's fine. But I just, I probably hadn't had anything to drink in two or three years just because it, it makes me sick. And that sucks. Uh, but my favorite, besides water which I don't like to drink water, I just do drink water, uh, would be Coke. That's that's the thing I like. So that's probably one of my guilty pleasures, too. My favorite gift. Kyla gave me a book uh, for Christmas that was basically like where she fills in stories about us and memories about me and stuff like that. That was very sweet. That's probably one of my favorite gifts. Lauren made perfume for me one time. She cleaned up my bedroom. She put a, a note on the door that said, I have like surprise on the door. And then when I opened the room, the door, she had cleaned my room and made my bed real pretty. And then she had taken all my perfumes, and I had some empty perfume bottles that I collected. She had taken all my perfumes and poured them into one bottle to make me a special perfume. She was probably seven when she did that. And um, that was very sweet. <laughs> and then Adam, of course, um, for my engagement ring, he worked extra and hid the money from me and went shopping like on the DL for months, months looking for my ring. And so that was very special because he completely paid for it on his own, not out of our house money or whatever and, and made a surprise out of it. So that was very special. If you live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I want to live in a big city. I wanna live in a city where I can walk to everything. I love the theater, I love museums, I love going to like restaurants and stuff like that so i would love to live somewhere i could literally park my car or not even have a car honestly and walk to everything let's see i don't know what city though 
but that is something as soon as Lauren graduates. I love this house, so we'll, we'll probably keep this house, but I would love to live in a, in a city where I could walk to everything. I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth because I do love this house. Favorite clothing stores and other types of stores. My favorite clothing stores right now are like Charlotte Russe and Boohoo because the clothes are inexpensive and I love the way they fit. They're trendy, they're not expensive, and they fit well, like I just said. So I like those uh, those stores. Boohoo has great sales. Like I bought a bathing suit today for like $16 because they had 50% off. Um, and let's see. I do like Hobby Lobby. I don't shop there a lot. Um, I'm really kind of, I don't have a lot of decorating to do for the house right now. Most of the house is done. I do have to decorate the den, but we've got to get furniture before I can do that. So I won't be in Hobby Lobby for a little while, other than getting the stuff to make our vision boards for this weekend, which I'll probably do a separate video about that. Let's see. Hobbies. My favorite hobbies are, I love photography. I love taking pictures. I love yoga, um, like doing the sunrise yoga. That's a hobby. I used to do races on the weekends, like 5Ks, 10Ks all the time. Like every single weekend I was doing a race of some sort. Um, I love swimming. I love hiking, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be excited when I can do all that stuff again. Perfect or most ideal date. I will tell you about the best date I've ever been on. There was a guy who was very, very handsome. He was an architect. And he asked me for my number through Facebook. He was a mutual friend of a friend. And I thought he was actually married. Um, and just trying to play games or whatever. And so I made him wait six months to get my phone number. He told me he was separated and he was getting a divorce. I made him wait six months to get my number. And then he even had his ex-wife email me to tell me that their divorce was final. Before I didn't ask him to do that part, but he did. And um, then I gave him my number. And he, had a, he drove a Tundra, a big Tundra. And he went and got his dad's car, which was a really nice... Um, it was like a, a Lexus Sports Edition so that I didn't have to get into the truck in my heels. He went and picked his dad's car up and he polished it up and he took me to a really nice restaurant, which that stuff doesn't phase me a bit. But um, then he took me to a piano bar and that, that was the best part of the night for me just because we had great chemistry. It was a small little intimate part of the bar that had the piano um, and we just had a great time. And it was like, it was such a wonderful date just because he you could tell he really took time and effort into planning it um and it, it just it was special it felt special to me anyway that was my favorite date adam's not very romantic by the way i love adam but he's not very romantic uh let's see what's going on personal relationships spouse children uh, boyfriend girlfriend etc um let's see i'm engaged to adam we've been engaged for two and a half years now um, we've been together, I say five years, he says six years. So whatever, we've been together for a while. And then let's see, he is in sales. Uh, he is the nicest guy on the planet. He works very, very hard. He loves the children. He is just, he's a great person. I can't wait for you guys to meet him because you'll love him. And then I have two daughters. I have a 19 year old that's off at college. She is in her second year right now and she's going uh, for six. She's going into geographical science, I think is what it's called. I have it saved in my phone because I can never remember the name of her uh, degree that she's going for. But she basically wants to be um, one of those people that travels to new places and does maps for new places and tests the water and tests the soil to make sure people can live there. And that's what she's going to school for. And she does intern right now um, for a company that does that. She works two jobs, actually. One at the school. Um, one is an intern and goes to school full-time. So I'm really proud of her. She's also my child that's um, a feminist. She stands up for other people. She's very strong-minded. Uh, she's got, you know, the... She's wanting the tattoos, and she's got, like, the nose piercings and all that kind of stuff. And she's the kid that, growing up, she wanted to dye her hair 15 different colors, even though I wouldn't let her. You know, she's her own person, and I love it. I, th I think it's great. So, she's a very smart girl. I'm very proud of her. And then I have a 14-year-old. She's also a very smart girl. Both of my kids got their intel. I'm not stupid. I'm not trying to say that. But their dad is, like, a genius, literally. And they both got his intelligence. So, um, I'm book smart. They are just on it smart. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, <laughs> um, my 14 year old, she is into music. She plays clarinet, piano, drums, you name it. She picks that instrument up. She plays it, the harmonica, everything like guitar, all. She has a beautiful singing voice. 
Um, God, this, this video is getting long. I need to hurry up. Let's see. Favorite smells, perfumes, and candles and cologne. Uh, my favorite smells, I, I used to work, I worked at Bed Bath & Beyond for 11 years, and we sold Yankee candles, and I loved the mistletoe candle by Yankee, um, and I used to buy like 10 at Christmas time so I could burn them all year, but I recently, about a year ago, found a candle at Dollar General. I don't know if you have Dollar General there, um, but they're $5 for this candle, right? It smells so good. It's called Vanilla Sandalwood, and it's like in a smoky black glass. It is, is heaven. I had to go buy two more on the way home from work tonight just because it reminded me today when I did this video that I needed more candles. But that's all I've been burning for a year now, and I'm absolutely obsessed with those candles. Um, my favorite smells, like perfume-wise, I can't wear perfume because I'm allergic. There's something in perfume that gives me a migraine. But I like body sprays, and my favorite one is called Secret Crush by Victoria's Secret. They actually quit making it, which is devastating because I wore it for about seven years and it smells so good. And Pear Glossé, every time I wore that, every guy would come out of the woodwork telling me how good it smelled. Um, but I don't have any favorites right now that are on the market because nothing smells that good to me. So um, if you know of anything that smells similar, let me know. As far as men's cologne, I love Cool Water. Um, there's a couple that I like and I just don't know the names of them. So tattoos and piercings. No tattoos, but I do want the word love right here. I used to want full sleeves, but my arms are so fat that that's never going to happen. Um, I kind of gave up on that dream about two years ago, but, um, and I did when we went to Gatlinburg, I got a henna tattoo because I used to want a tattoo right here and I got a henna tattoo right here and Adam thought it was real. We got back to the, the cabin and he was there with Lauren and Kyla and I went to Gatlinburg to walk around and got the henna tattoo. And he actually was so upset because you know he's got tattoos all over. And he thought I got a tattoo with Adam and he was heartbroken because he's been so excited to take me to get my first tattoo. So anyway, piercings, no piercings, just my ears. Favorite YouTube channels. I like a lot of the crime stuff. I like um, Kaylee Elise, Lord and Arts. Cold case files, any of that murder mystery kind of stuff. I like that stuff. Do you believe in ghosts and spirits? Yes, I do. And I'm going to do a story time about it. The last house we lived in was very haunted. So I hope you guys can hear me over the neighbors there in the backyard right now. Favorite summer activities and winter activities. I like to swim and we can swim year round here um, and hike. I can do both of those, both, you know, in the summer and in the winter. Only swim in clear water, though. I don't like the lake. I don't like the ocean or the river. I like to swim in the in the pool. You guys, these people, their rooster got loose in my backyard. We live in the city. We don't live in the country, so they shouldn't even have a rooster. And on Easter Sunday, I walked out of the back door, and they were all running around my yard trying to chase a rooster. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I don't even know those people. Anyway, um, if you rented a house with five celebrities, who would it be, dead or alive? At first, I started thinking about this, and I was like, Marilyn Monroe, because I want to know about President Kennedy. Um, President Kennedy, because I want to know about aliens. Like, I started thinking about all these cool people, and then I went back to Lenny Kravitz, and I was like, screw that. I'll just go to lunch with Lenny Kravitz, and then we'll go back to the house that we have rented, right? And you guys can have the other four, so that'll give you guys four more people that you can have at lunch. I like that plan much better. Um, what is your favorite sport to watch and favorite team? I'm from Alabama and I, I love Alabama football, but I don't watch it anymore. I used to like two years ago. I kind of fizzled on it. I went my whole life without caring about football and then had like two or three years where I cared. And now I'm back to not caring again. But if I had to pick a team, it would be Alabama. Um, I don't watch any other sports. I like to watch golf when I was growing up. I don't like watching it anymore. I don't watch the Olympics. I don't really watch any sports. What is your favorite season? Spring. You guys, I went and filmed the video earlier out at the waterfall, but like I said, I wasn't prepared for it, so my answers were kind of stupid, so I wanted to refilm it. Um, but it was so beautiful out there. The waterfall was going, the, the beautiful lake behind it, the greenery behind me. It was just, it was simply, it was beautiful. I love the spring. The breeze is going. It feels perfect out here right now. And down here in Alabama in the summer, it just gets too hot to enjoy anything. Like, you feel like you're dying every time you go outside because of the humidity. So, I'm a summer girl just because I prefer the sun over the wintertime. Um, but as far as it actually feeling good, the spring is for me. 
So that is it. I appreciate this, Shannon. I had a lot of